Are there any constituency statements? The member for Haslock. Thank you, Deputy Speaker. I rise today to commend and congratulate some residents of Hasluck that have been recognised recently for their achievements and benevolence in their local community. I feel that this is an important thing for us as parliamentarians to do when we can so the community can be inspired by these efforts and maybe use them as a catalyst to make their own contribution to volunteering and to their local community. The first one I'd like to mention is not an individual but a collective of dedicated people in the north of Hasluck. The Swan Valley Visitor Centre was recently awarded the silver medal at the 2011 Qantas Australian Tourism Awards. According to the City of, Mayor, uh, City of Swan, Mayor Charlie Zanino, who was quoted in the newspaper article from Calamunda Reporter, there are 600 visitor centres in Australia, so being recognised in the top two is an amazing achievement. The Swan Valley is a beautiful part of Hasluck and Western Australia and is home to numerous tourist attractions such as parks, rapids, wineries and heritage listed buildings. I'm proud to have a section of the Swan Valley in the electorate of Hasluck and even prouder that the Swan Valley Visitor Centre was recognised in this manner. In the south of Hasluck, I'd like to recognise the dedication that Gosnell's resident Patricia Best displays when promoting understanding about epilepsy in the community. Patricia has epilepsy and a visual impairment. Despite this, she runs the Gosnell's Epilepsy Support Centre which has expanded in numbers and distrib distributes important information to sufferers while offering a place to come and talk about their experiences. Her work was recognised for the Southern District Rotary Club, which, was, which has awarded her a Shine On Award for community service by a person with a disability. This is an amazing achievement and Patricia's example should act as a beacon to others that when faced with adversity or a disability, hard work and selflessness can help you to lead a positive and rewarding life, and I want to acknowledge Patricia's amazing efforts to help others. To the east of Hasluck, I'd like to congratulate two people that I've had a lot to do with since my time in office, Terry and Carmela Izzard. The husband-wife duo are never short of an opinion on how we as parliamentarians can improve people's lives in Western Australia. Whilst they may walk, talk the talk, they certainly walk the talk also. They have been recognised in the Hills Gazette for their quote, shining example to others with their volunteering efforts within their local community. I wish them well in this year's 2012 Volunteering WA Awards. In the same edition of the Hills Gazette, a fantastic young man named Aaron Hurst, who is just 16, was featured for winning the Queen's Scout Award. His dedication to the Calamunda Venturers saw him qualify, start his qualifying course in 2010, and he completed it in a full year ahead of schedule. This is a remarkable achievement and Aaron's efforts should be held up to the community as a positive example of our young people. Congratulations on your achievement, Aaron, and in the time you've taken. Thank you, Deputy.